is Kaylin here again from Movement Pilates Studio in Davidson. Um, today we're going to be focusing on stretching the hamstrings and the calves. Uh, if you sit a lot or even do a lot of walking or running or lower body exercises, um, the hamstrings and the calves are an area that can get really, really tight. And if you don't stretch these areas, they can result in decreased flexibility and mobility um, and other specific issues like plantar fasciitis in the feet, especially if you have really tight calves. Um, these are simple stretches and if you make the time to do them every day, they can make a huge difference in your mobility. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to be using a few props today. So if you can have on hand either a stretchy band or a yoga belt or even just a regular old belt that you'd use for pants, go ahead and grab that. We need a block or if you don't have one of those, just a really thick book or a couple books, um, a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. If you have that, tennis ball should do just fine though. And also a, uh, either a couple small hand towels or a larger towel or larger blanket. Um, and uh, once you've got a chance to grab those, then go ahead and come on back and we'll continue on. Um, first thing we're gonna do is lay on our back here. So I want you to go ahead and bring yourself all the way down and make sure you have your, your band or your strap handy because we're gonna start first with a hamstring stretch. So once you come down onto your back, you can keep your left foot on the floor, knee can be bent here. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this strap or band onto the bottom of your foot. And once it's there, I'm gonna go ahead and extend my left leg to the floor. If that's not comfortable for you, then go ahead and keep the knee bent with the foot on the floor. And as you're here, what you want to do is, at first we're going to try to straighten our leg fully. So we want that knee fully extended here. So if you're really, really tight here in the back of the leg, you may only be able to come to here before your knee starts to bend if your hamstrings are really tight. So go ahead, wherever you are, just go ahead and hold that straight leg there and flex through your ankles. You want to imagine that your heel is reaching up towards the ceiling, okay? Now, just go ahead and hold this here for a couple of breaths. And on your exhale, or each exhale, see if you can pull that leg a little bit closer to your upper body. Just feeling a little bit more stretch in the hamstring. So you're taking a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, just see if you can pull that leg a little bit further in. Just one more like that. Deep breath in, inhale. And exhale. All right, now I want you to bend the knee just a little bit on the inhale, and then exhale, drive your heel up towards the ceiling as you straighten your leg. We're gonna do that again. Inhale as you bend, and then exhale, straighten. Get a couple more, inhale, bend, and exhale, reach. Last one, bending that knee just a little bit, and then exhale, stretch. But I also want to mention that as you're doing this, make sure that right hip is staying glued towards the floor. So if the hip is up, lifted up, I want you to really think of keeping it grounded here. Now we're going to get a, uh, more into the inner part of the hamstring. So I want you to take your straps into your right hand. This left arm can come a little bit out to the side. And you're going to let this leg open out to the side and finding that nice inner thigh and hamstring, inner hamstring stretch here. So just a few deep breaths here, taking a deep inhale and exhale to release. Good, a couple more deep breaths. Feel where's the rest of your body at as you're breathing? Is your left hip still grounded onto the floor? And where are your ribs? I want the back of your ribs to be pulling down towards the mat here. So I don't want any tension anywhere else in the body. Good, one more deep breath here. And exhale. Now go ahead and bring that leg back through center. Switch your straps to your left hand as you start to bring the leg across the body. So now we're getting more into that outer part of our hamstring and even into our um, hip and glute here. So this is a really nice stretch. 
Feel that you're keeping that right hip rooted down and away from your ribs. So no hiking the leg up, but keep reaching it away. Okay, so just a couple deep breaths here. Take a deep breath in, inhale and exhale. This is a really good stretch for me. I'm really tight through here. One more deep breath in, inhale and exhale. Good, go ahead and bring it back through center. And we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. So we're gonna bring that left leg up into the strap. Take your right leg out. Either keep your right leg bent with your foot on the floor or reach that right leg nice and long. If you have it long, you'll get a little bit more of a stretch in the front of that um, right hip flexor. So just holding the leg nice and steady here. Again, keep the, the pelvis rooted into the ground. Heel reaching up towards the ceiling with your toes pulling down towards you. Take a couple deep breaths here. Inhale, deep breath in. And then exhale, see if you can pull that leg a little bit closer towards your upper body. And one more, inhale here. And exhale. Now we're gonna go ahead and bend that knee on your inhale. So inhale, just a slight bend of the knee. And then exhale, drive that heel up, to, up towards the ceiling as you straighten the leg. And again, inhale, bending. And exhale, stretch. Two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. Last one. And reach. All right, we're gonna transfer the straps into our left hand. You can bring that right arm out to the side. And you're gonna go ahead and open that right, I'm sorry, that left leg out to the side, keeping your right hip grounded. So that left elbow can come to the floor to rest. If it, if it makes it down that far, you may be up here and that's perfectly fine. We each have our own range here, our own range of motion. So wherever yours is, you're still getting a really good stretch. So take two more deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale. All right, bring it up through center, transfer the straps to your right hand. Left arm comes up to the side. Can we reach this left hip down and away? So you reach that heel over to the right. Good, again, eat deep inhale in here. And exhale, really feeling that stretch in that outer hamstring, outer hip. And again, inhale. And exhale. Make sure you're flexing that ankle. And last one, deep breath in. And exhale, release. And then go ahead and bring that strap back to center. Go ahead and bend that knee, take that strap off the foot. We're gonna go ahead and bring the knees into your chest and go ahead and rock up to a seated position. So we're gonna come all the way up to seated. And now that we've gotten some nice stretching in the back of the legs, we're gonna straighten them here. Hopefully you can get into a better um, seated position here since you have a little bit more length here in, in the back of your hamstrings and calves. So we're sitting up nice and tall, trying to find that tall spine here. Arms are gonna reach forward, feet are flexed. Go ahead and take an inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna round forward, reaching for the toes. I don't want you to grab the toes just yet. Keep your arms parallel with the floor. Pull that belly back behind you, and then go ahead and come back up to seated. Inhale here, and then exhale, rounding. Good, eyes can come gaze down towards the knees, and exhale, lift back up. Okay, we're gonna do that a couple more times. So you're gonna round forward. We are gonna hold this after this next one and go ahead and lift back up. And last one here, rounding forward. Now this time I want you to go ahead and reach down wherever you can, whether it's the bottom of your feet, maybe it's your shins or um, your calves here wherever you can grab onto. I want you to think of lengthening first. So go ahead and inhale as you lift your heart and chest, hinging from the hips as you come forward, and then exhale, start to round over. 
And go ahead and hold this for a few breaths here. And with any of these exercises that we're doing, I want you to go ahead and pause the video if you feel like you could use a little bit more. So we're only doing you know, a few breaths of each exercise, but I encourage you to take any time that you need to really deepen into that stretch. So let's take one more deep breath here. And exhale. Good, now go ahead and stack your spine back up to seated. All right, and so we've gotten into a little bit of the hamstrings here. Now we're gonna get into the calves. So this is an area that a lot of people tend to neglect when it comes to stretching or releasing. So I want you to grab your block or tall book here and your either tennis ball or lacrosse ball, which is just a smaller, harder version of a tennis ball. I'm gonna go ahead and use the lacrosse ball. The tennis ball has a little bit more give to it, so if your calves are really, really tight, you might wanna start with the tennis ball first. So you're gonna go ahead and put the ball on top of your block, and then go ahead and bring your calf, right, that meaty part of the calf, right onto the ball there. Okay, so once you're there, go ahead and bring your arms back behind you. And we're just gonna start to point and flex the foot. So as you point and flex that foot, obviously we're starting to um, contract the muscle as we point the toe. You'll feel your ham, I'm sorry, your calf muscle contract here. And then as you flex, you feel it release. All right, so I just want you to do a few like that, pointing and flexing. It's almost like a trigger point release here that you're doing with this ball. And you might wanna kinda of move it around and see where that most tender spot is. Wherever that spot is the most tender, that's where you need the most release and stretch. Good, so now maybe do some circles with the ankle. Trying not to move the lower leg itself, although that's really hard to do. So just try to circle that ankle around and then go ahead and reverse the circles. So you move in the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm feeling quite a bit here on this side, although I know my left side's a lot tighter. All right, now go ahead and keep the ankle still. And you just start to rock the leg side to side over the, over the ball. This is where you're probably gonna find the most kind of release here as you start to really massage that muscle side to side, okay? So these, this release work, there's so much you can do with these balls in all different areas of the body. You can actually um, put them under the hamstring as well and move it around if you sit, sit on a chair. And that is a really nice release for the hamstrings too. You can also use it for upper body work. Um, we'll probably use it in uh, some of our future videos. But this is a really nice way to be able to give yourself a massage with these little balls. All right, so go ahead and release that leg off of there. And maybe just put it next to your other one and just kind of shake it out. See if you feel the difference. So I can already feel how much looser my right calf muscle is. So hopefully you guys are feeling that too. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, so getting into that again, that meaty part of that calf here. You're gonna start to point and flex that ankle. So I, unfortunately, about a year and a half ago, I sprained my left ankle pretty badly. And ever since then, I've got a lot of tightness through here and through my calf. Um, but no matter what I do, it's just very consistent. So this side's always a little bit tighter. And we're always gonna have one side of our body that's tighter than the other. So just honor that and realize that one side might be, need a little bit more than your other. All right, now start to do those circles here. Yep, I can already feel this side. It's a lot more cranky. It doesn't want to move as easily. That's my other side. Go ahead and reverse your circles now. When you feel those tight spots, just really breathe through it. So the more you hold your breath, um, the harder it's going to be. The more you breathe, and try to just loosen up any other parts of your body, the easier it's gonna be to release that muscle. All right, now keep the ankle still and then start to massage that muscle 
side to side over that ball. So for me, I can feel that the outer part of my calf is a lot tighter than the inner part here, which makes a lot more sense because that sprained ankle was all through here on this side. So not all that surprising. Good, just do a couple more each side. Again, take some extra time if you need to here. And then go ahead and release your leg off of that ball there. Go ahead and place it down next to your right leg. Go ahead and just shake that out just a little bit. See how that feels. I know my cuffs are already feeling a lot looser after that. Um, all right, so next we're gonna go ahead and come up to a standing position and do our last few exercises from standing. All right, from here, I want you to go ahead and grab your towel. So I actually have two small hand towels that I rolled up together here. Uh, you could also use one larger towel that will give you a little bit more height and lift um, or a rolled up blanket as well, but something that you can roll up pretty tight. And we're gonna go ahead and place this on the floor, running it a little bit of a deeper calf stretch. So go ahead, um, place it to one side of your body because we're gonna do each side separately. Uh, you're going to roll it up, place it there, and then go ahead and bring your heel to the floor as you bring your ball of your foot onto the towel. All right, so the tighter your hamstrings, the lower the, the, or the smaller the towel should be. Um, I could actually probably use a little bit more height here to get deeper into my hamstring, but this is all I've got right now. So go ahead and bring now your left foot forward. So depending on how tight your calves are, this left foot may not be able to go that far forward. You might only be here and that's perfectly fine if you're feeling a really deep stretch there. So all you're doing here is just holding this stretch. So we're just breathing into that back of that calf, the back of that leg. Um, we're really getting into that meatier part of the muscle here that we just rolled onto that ball. So just take a few deep breaths here and try not to pitch your upper body forward. Try to stay nice and tall over your, your hips here. So we're just holding here. If you need to lean forward, only lean forward from the back of that leg. Okay. So just two more deep breaths. Deep breath in and exhale, release. Last one, inhale and exhale. Now go ahead and stay here. I want you to bend your right knee so that where the, the, the foot that is on the towel, that's the knee you're gonna bend, this left knee will automatically bend with it. This is gonna get down into the lower part of the calf, the soleus, um, and this is really where I feel some extra tightness on this side. So just bending that knee is gonna get into that different part of that calf here. So just take a few deep breaths here, deep inhale, and exhale. Good, a couple more breaths. And check in with that foot. Try to make sure that that foot is, is staying in parallel. So with tight calves um, here, what can happen is that foot starts to turn out to the side to compensate for the tightness. So try to keep it in that parallel position. Do one more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, release. Go ahead and come all the way up. Maybe just stand and see how that leg feels compared to your left leg. So I can feel quite a difference there on that side. And then we're gonna go, go ahead and switch to the other side. So you're gonna bring your left heel on with the ball of your foot on the towel here. And then start to send your right leg forward. So again, this side is a lot tighter than my other side. I'm trying to keep that foot in that parallel position. Just take a few deep breaths here. Try to relax that shoulder down or shoulders down since we have two. Let's take two more deep breaths, deep inhale. Exhale, if your balance is a little off, feel free to hold onto something, a chair if you need to here. One more deep breath. Good. Now we're gonna bend that knee, that left knee, to get into that soleus, lower part of the calf. Now this one, I can, cannot bend it as much as my right leg, only because of what I did to that ankle a while ago. So this is as far as I can go with this leg, and I can definitely feel it. 
So take a few deep breaths here, inhaling in and exhale. Two more. Shoulders down and back. Last one, deep breath in. All right, and then go ahead and come all the way up to, to standing. Maybe again, shake both sides out, see how that feels. And then we can move the towel off to the side. And we're gonna finish up um, with two other exercises. We're gonna do a forward fold here. So you're gonna have both legs in parallel and you're gonna start to drop your chin towards your chest as you start to roll down through your spine. So once you're here, you're just gonna let yourself hang forward. Let your head be nice and heavy. Maybe your fingers touch the floor, maybe they don't. And I want you to just start to bend one knee and then the other. So you're gonna bend your right knee, keeping your left leg straight. And then you're gonna to switch to the other side. This is gonna really get into the back of that hamstring here. And you might be able to get into this a little bit deeper now that we've loosened up the hamstrings and calves. So we're gonna do a few more on each side. Okay, letting the hips sway side to side if that feels good. Good, finish up with one more on each side here. You now keep both legs straight. You're gonna to start to walk your hands out into a downward dog. So it's gonna be our final exercise here today. So you might wanna walk your feet back a little bit and you're gonna reach your heels towards the floor. So we're gonna keep our legs straight first as you sink your chest towards your thighs. And then maybe here, if it feels good, you're gonna to start to walk your dog as you bend one knee and then the other. So when we do this, this single leg version with one knee bent and the other straight, we can really deepen into that straight leg a little bit more, finding a deeper stretch. Good, just do a couple more each side. Again, feel free to pause here if you need to take a little bit of extra time. Last one. Good, now keep your legs straight. Walk your hands back towards your feet. So now you're in that, that forward fold position again. And then you'll go ahead and roll yourself all the way up to standing. And until your shoulders and your head come all the way up. So just see how you feel here with those legs. Maybe shake it out just a little bit. I know I feel so much better than when I first started. Um, so that's gonna finish up our hamstrings and calves for today. Um, if you liked what we did today, we have other videos on um, pain relief and Pilates just to help any sort of tight or overactive muscles. So I hope you'll check those out and you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel, which is Movement with Kaylin. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Thanks so much.